hearing from those who knew and loved a record driver who's lost his life in a crash in Galveston. A woman in the hospital facing charges in connection to the crash that killed Gary Dubois. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live in Galveston where she talked with some of those who knew him well. Brittany. Yeah, Lauren, even in the wind and rain today, we saw family members, friends, even co-workers who stopped by this memorial here for Gary Dubois. They say that his death is tragic and a reminder just how dangerous working out on the roadways can be. This is his area. He ran up and down this freeway helping people. On the stretch where Gary Dubois logged hours and miles in his wrecker truck, a flag and memorial for him now sits. When you're out here on this job, you don't think about the bad that can happen until it happens. Ira Bacon tells me he had a lot of respect for his co-worker, Gary Dubose, who had more than 30 years as a wrecker operator. He was somebody we looked up to. On Saturday night, Ira drove past the accident that left his mentor dead. Dubose was helping DPS troopers clear a scene near the Gulf Freeway and Tykeman Road when investigators say 52-year-old Diana Howler veered off the road, slamming into a DPS patrol car, striking Dubose. So I was really in disbelief when I found out it happened. I, I didn't want to believe it. Others also in a state of shock. And I knew right away something happened. Gary's partner for 25 years, Margaret Mustachia, tells me she had a sinking feeling that night while he was at work. I don't know, like maybe 9 o'clock or 9.30. I'm not sure when it happened. I felt something in my heart, you know. Around Galveston, others in the tow truck industry are flying their flags at half staff. It's just like a nightmare to me. It's like I can't believe that Gary got hit. Tony and Deborah Socia say that Gary worked for them on and off for 20 years. He, he was talented. He was also uh, an outgoing person. He was part of our family. They say he made his mark in Galveston and his death is a stark reminder of just how hazardous work on the roads can be. According to DPS, they tell me the suspect in this case is still in the hospital, but they do tell me there is a warrant for her arrest, an intoxicated manslaughter charge. We're live here in Galveston. I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News.